Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Merry Christmas to all of the viewers, who are celebrating it today. Our video today is about Alabi and Kangles fending off bears. Alabias as well as its crossbreeds still can be found in its countries of origin, such as, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan and surrounding countries. It is considered a symbol of pride and national heritage in Turkmenistan, where a gold statue of the animal was unveiled in 2020. This breed presents a robust dog of greater than average size with great strength and power. They are independent, curious and alert, yet imperturbable. The dog is as long as it is tall at the withers, or slightly longer than its height. Alabias are excellent livestock guardian dogs as they have been bred to do so for thousands of years. However, it is important to note that they have also been bred for military and fighting dog purposes. For livestock guarding one should make sure that they're getting a dog from a working line. As the breed originated in Central Asia, it makes sense that they are one of the most popular breeds in Russia. And primarily they were bred for fending off wild animals such as wolves, bears, foxes, etc. An alabi can be very aggressive when provoked, and they won't hesitate to save their human family and livestock under their care when a dangerous situation arises. They are very courageous and have a high working capacity, endurance and a natural instinct of territory. This breed is known for its fearlessness towards large predators. Central Asian Shepherd Dogs are a natural protective breed that require a non-stop observance for the life of the dog. Central Asian Shepherd Dogs do best with a large yard and are suitable for families that like daily walks. For safety, because they are an intelligent and independent breed, they should be kept contained when exercised, such as in a fenced yard and on leash when being walked. Even though it is a low-energy dog, it should have good endurance for walking and hiking. Some breeders encourage endurance tests. Kangles are a unique dog breed with a very long history. While most people have never heard of a Kongol dog, these canines have played a very important role in human history. They're considered to be one of the oldest dog breeds that still exist today. They're massive canines that are devoted to protecting both livestock and humans. Not a herding dog in the traditional sense, Kangles are more focused on protecting the flock from would-be predators. The Kongol Shepherd Dog is a historic Turkish breed of large livestock guardian dog native to eastern Turkey. The breed name derives from that of the town and district of Kongol in Shiva's province, the easternmost province of the central Anatolia region. The coat color varies from pale fawn to wolf gray, always with a black mask. It is a traditional flock guardian dog kept with flocks of sheep to fend off predators of all sizes, including wolves, bears and jackals. It is thought to have the most powerful bite of all domestic dogs. They were bred to guard livestock in Turkey from wolves, bears and jackals. More recently, it is used in Kenya and Namibia to guard against cheetahs and lions and such. By guarding they only tend to fend them off, we aren't implying that they would be able to kill a lion. However, they are brave and may die while protecting the livestock or owner against wild animals. With their large size and powerful muscles, they are more than capable of taking down any animal they encounter. Secondly, the name itself is enough to explain what these dogs were bred for. The main point of having a livestock guardian is that they are able to protect the livestock from predators and other unwanted visitors. You would never put a Chihuahua or Maltese for this task. That's why most livestock guardian dogs would be big in size, able to work in variety of different temperaments, have a stable temperament, gentle with livestock, suspicious with strangers, able to take down a predator and independent. 
and remember sheep herders are different than livestock guardians. This also means that even if an Australian cattle dog can herd, it can't guard them effectively. And it goes other way around too. Livestock guardians are not herders. Only certain breeds are able to perform well as a livestock guardian. Years of selective breeding has given us breeds like Kangals, Alabias, Anatolian Shepherd, Great Pyrenees, Kuvos, Armenian Gamper and Polish Tatra to protect our livestock. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share.